Hi, it's Alyssa at The Ripple Effect. Happy Thursday. Hope all is well. Something I wanted to talk about today, something that's been on my heart often, I would say my entire life, is uh, uh, feeling like the one of, if not the most sensitive person or personality in the room, the room, if you will, um, and, and, and navigating that sensitivity with uh, personalities that are very, let's just say opposite of you, <laughs> opposite of the, the, the sensitive, the heart-centered. Um, I've found that uh, my experience of the world throughout my entire life has been um, observing and experiencing some really wonderful personalities, some really wonderful, uh, kind, just intelligent, amazing people. Uh, and the, the, the energy, if you will, of what I am referring to today, though, is the, um, the experience um, that I've had with the, the more harsh energy, the more, uh, let's just say, the personalities that, whether they're aware of it or not, they choose to, um, I would say, be more of a bulldozer personality. Let's just, I'll just put that out there versus um, something a little more gentle. And that's, that's great. I mean, it, it, it's their choice, right? And again, we all have a choice on how we choose to show up. And we all have our good days and our not so good days. Um, the most sensitive us, sensitive of us can be, can, can have really awful things come out of our mouths that we're like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that. That's not at all who I choose to be. But how do we navigate um, in a mindful way, in a compassionate, empathetic way, how do we navigate relationships and clients and coworkers and just, and just folks, people in our lives who um, are very different from us, who make choices that we certainly wouldn't make, but that's their choice, right? That's their right. But how do we you know, for lack of a better word, get along alongside of them and maintain our peace and maintain our harmony and um, and keep our thoughts and energies and emotions at their best level when we're experiencing people who are just tough, right? It's our perception. Um, but how do we do that without it hurting so much? How do we, how do we let them be who they are, um, and at the same time not be adversely affected by something that feels, let's just say, bad? And and that I think has been a question I've been asking my life, my whole life, and maybe you have too, because if you're watching this, um, you know, for some reason it's you're aligning with it, and so I would imagine you're. A sensitive being, a heart-centered person as well, and we're all on these paths of discovery and self-awareness and mindfulness. But again, how do we how do we navigate the harsh, the 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 ones where we have to almost put up some armor with? Because if we don't, there's just it's like we feel like we've been plowed over. And I would say. Um, you know, people say, oh, toughen up. Uh, don't let that get to you. And it's like, absolutely, let's not let it get to us. But how do we do that? And my ultimate stance is what I'm choosing to do is, A, this is some contrast that really helps me be very aware of what I don't want to do. So in a way, it's helpful. I would prefer they just not do it. <laughs> I think I could be pretty aware without that. But anyway, um, you know, we can use it as a, a tool for our own involvement and learning. But ultimately, we all have a choice how we show up. And I think the greatest piece for us 
the us sensitive ones who find the world can be a little harsh at times. Um, what is most beneficial for us is to not internalize anyone who's attacking or anyone who's being um, challenging or negative is to, to really support ourselves as we wish they would support us. We've got a choice on how we want to you know, deal with it. But I do believe it's um, about forgiveness. Um, a Course in Miracles is all about um, us forgiving others. And they say that that's how we forgive ourselves. And that's the way to peace, having the peace of God. And, uh, and I think it's that simple is um, forgiveness and, and just trusting the plan. Of course, ask, I ask for divine help um, to make sure that I am modeling the behavior I wish to see. Um, but that's all we can do is, is we can press on and not invalidate our feelings but to use it as a learning opportunity, right? So we do our very best, and it helps add wisdom to our um, book of wisdom and our own selves to really help us be even more kind and even more self-aware. So I would say uh, let's definitely not internalize when anyone is speaking or behaving in a way that we would really rather they didn't. Um, but if we maintain our peace and instead of outwardly projecting anger or hurt, um, I would say challenge ourselves uh, with instead blessing them, um, forgiving them, forgiving ourselves for any kind of self-judgment like we asked for it or deserved it because we certainly didn't deserve or ask for it but just to um, let that be you know one more a glimmer of self-awareness to just make sure we're not doing that and I just think that that energy of grace and forgiveness is a way of um, blessing the situation and making it so much more peaceful so that's my musing my thinking for today uh, I wish all of you a wonderful weekend. Again, let's not internalize any harshness in our lives. Let's do our very best as we all are. And I wish you a beautiful weekend and look forward to talking with you next week. Take care.